All right, Science Saturday. Mm -hmm. A lot of science happens in that room. We've got a lot of science out here right now. Um, we've got a lot of people here, mm -hmm. a lot of winners. Uh, Sari, joining us from the Science Center. Who is everyone here right now? Who are we talking to? All right, so we just wrapped, Arizona Science Center just wrapped hosting the Arizona Science and Engineering Fair. It's the state level science fair here in Arizona. So we have some of the top young scientists in the entire state with us today. Before we meet everyone, talk a little bit about the criteria, what they're bringing to the table, what they're mm. presenting, what they have to present, what they have to know. Yeah, so this isn't your class, like what's your typical science fair project when you think of a project? Mine Volcano. was mice. 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 Yeah. We, we joked about really? it. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty good, actually. That's yeah. pretty advanced. Mm -hmm. So that's the typical science fair mm -hmm. that people think of. Mm -hmm. This is so much more. Students are thinking about engineering. They're thinking about different projects like embedded systems. Wait till you hear what these students are doing. It's way over your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Students had to compete and win first at another fair or multiple fairs before they could compete in this one. So we're talking about literally the best of the best young scientists. Let's meet our first young scientist. My name is Chloe, and my project essentially forecasted county and state level crop yield using satellite data. And, uh, th I mean, wow, there's math here. I'm confused. There's a lot of words. Uh, you just copied and pasted this from Wikipedia, right? Uh, no. No? <laughs> what, when, when, when putting this together, when created, what's the goal? What are we going to do with this information? Uh, the goal is for farmers to have uh, more knowledge about corn forecasts in the future so that they can better determine their, like, future corn prices and also for uh, more food security in years where there's shortages. So you better know like how much corn yield you're going to have in like the upcoming few months. Good for you. Very useful. Yeah. And good morning to you. What's your name? Siddharth Ada. And tell us about your project. Sure. So I researched a new artificial intelligence method to diagnose the severity of diabetic retinopathy and uh, predict the risk of developing diabetic macular edema. These are complications associated with diabetes. Wow. Well, how did you, I mean, how does that come into your mind to look into all that? Uh, so diabetes runs in my family and my grandmother uh, developed co eye complications because she had diabetes. So mm. this was an impetus for me to research this project. Incredible Powerful. because this is all useful stuff. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Let's meet you. What's yeah. your name here? Hello, my name is Yvonne Santhil and I'm, I go to Basis Peoria and essentially my project is to explore a more energy efficient way to fly a drone. And so I put a tilt rotor mechanism and a specialized airflow to do so. All right, we got to get you in touch with our guys here. Yeah. We've what's, got a lot of sky drones. What's the interest? What's your personal interest? So in I've been making drones for almost like two years now. So I've always made like custom drones with my parents. Like I bought like a lot of parts and I made drones with it. So I've had this interest of creating a more energy efficient drone. And that's what I did here using a specialized airplane. Why, why would we need a more energy efficient drone? See, drones are used in a lot of applications like rescue operations Ooh. and delivery services. So we want a higher battery life for those drones, right? Without a good battery life, they're going to, we don't have the energy to actually fly them, right? So we want to have a high battery life so we can fly the drone for longer. My goodness, impressive. Yes, let's, <laughs> let's meet you. I'm blown away right now. Yeah, Tell wow. us about your project here. Hi. I'm Alexis. So I analyze brain interactions using a new deep learning technique or framework that can better do pattern recognition and generalize to new data for mental disorder classification. So what would the wow. goal be? What's the hope? taking all of this research and information to helping people. Yeah, so the goal is by understanding the brain better and like which regions of interest are affecting us, we can better develop like treatments for like different like mental disorders or like cognitive diseases like Alzheimer's, for example. Unbelievable. I want to do, this is going to be my favorite part. I want everyone's age right now. How old are you? I'm 16. Wow. I'm 15 turning 16 in two days. Oh, okay. happy birthday. I'm 17. 17? 17. Wow. Unbelievable. Sari, unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, though, because not only are all of you amazing, congratulations on, on all of this work and being winners like this, but how they're able to talk about this on morning live television right now, yes. it's incredible. I absolutely agree. These students have been working really hard on their original research, how to convey that research, and they'll take all of this information with them in early May to go compete at the international level in Dallas, Texas at the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. Talk about next year, cool. because there are kids watching who are saying, I can do that. Mm -hmm. They, they want to do this. Mm -hmm. I hope so, because this is so inspirational. Those who want to get involved in science fairs should talk to their science teacher first. Likely their school has a science fair and they can get involved, but if not, they can learn more online at azscience.org to learn about AZ Seth. All right, uh, we got a lot of parents over yeah, here. I want some applause proud. from the parents. <laughs> I know you're all incredibly proud of your kids. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah. Good luck on the next level. We look yeah. forward to seeing you in the future. We will be right back.